Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of May, as I posted, Microsoft had announced Microsoft Edge for Business. That will separate the lines between your personal and work browsing. Now, I'll leave a link to that video down below if you would be interested. But just to let you know that recently on the 4th of August, Microsoft has announced that Edge for Business is now planned to be officially released with Microsoft Edge Stable version 116 next week. So Edge 116 is scheduled to be released next week on the 17th of August 2023. Now, Microsoft does say in this announcement that if you are affected, all customers who sign into Edge using Microsoft Entra ID, formerly Azure Active Directory, will automatically be transitioned to Microsoft Edge for Business as part of the release. So just take note of that if you are affected by this change. Now, what to expect from Edge for Business? There are four key points that Microsoft has listed just to go through uh, just to keep you posted in this video. First of all, Microsoft says policies, settings, and configurations previously set by an organization will be automatically transitioned to Edge for Business. Secondly, IT administrators maintain full control over policy and feature management and configuration in the browser. And then thirdly, as I mentioned previously, the icon will be updated to include a briefcase. So that will separate it and differentiate it from your so-called normal Edge browser and separate it into Edge for Business. And then fourthly, an optional personal browsing window is enabled so users with a personal profile can separate their work and personal browsing and take advantage of the full feature set of Edge for personal use. So basically what that means at the end of the day, just to give you some more inf information between separating your work and personal browsing is that Microsoft will be splitting your work and personal browsing into separate browser windows which will have their own caches and storage locations. So that's just a bit of a, a privacy and a, and a security aspect that they've brought in there. This way, your information stays separate and secure. And as an example, when you visit a work-related site um, and services or sites that require work login, it will open in the work a browser window. And then when you visit a popular site, as an example, that is not related to work, it will then open in your personal browser window. And you can also customize which sites you want to open in which window in these settings, which you can just head to and customize that in your actual browser settings. So basically at the end of the day, it's making it easy to switch between your work and personal browser windows. And this is starting to roll out with Edge version 116 next week, starting the 17th of August, 2023, the new Microsoft Edge for Business. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.